the next five minutes, we are in West Berlin. That's not Big Ben behind me. That's the Brandenburg Gate, stuffed with barbed wire. When I was a kid, I had very little indeed, very little, except my mum always had books in the house, and vocabulary was my way out. I never thought in my life anyone would say to me that you're on after sucks. Uh, so uh, it's a dream come true. So how fantastic to look around at Trafalgar Square just full of book lovers. Birds do it, bees do it, even educated fleas do it. This extract comes at the end of a story told by my favorite Graham Greene hero, Henry Pulling. From gardening in suburban Southwood to gun running in Paraguay, Travels with My Aunt is the coming of old age story of all time. In Spain, the best upper sets do it. I tried to find somewhere in the book where there were jokes, but there aren't really very many jokes in it. A really good book does an absolutely extraordinary thing that nothing else in the world can do, which is give you instant, intimate access into the mind of another human being. Dixon was alive again. Consciousness was upon him before he could get out of the way. Don't scoff, it's a useful address. Anything you like can happen there. Spaceships and skin-tight uniforms, ray guns, Martians with the bodies of giant squids, that sort of thing. The woman gulped water from a speckled tin cup and held it out for more. Four times Denver filled it, and four times the woman drank as though she had crossed a desert. She was low, plain low in the morning, standing four feet ten in one sock. She was Lola in slacks. She was Dolly at school. She was Dolores on the dotted line. But in my arms, she was always Lolita. To seek, to find, and not to yield. In this sponged and squeegeed bedroom with an audience of indifferent old women, I do not care to unbend, call my mother chick, fetch my face close to hers, and tell her or shout at her how much I love her. Now, if you see me shaking, it's uh, not because I'm scared, it's because I'm freezing. <laughs> or maybe a little bit of both. The bear hooked a claw through the handle of the jar and lifted it to his mouth. Lyra could smell the tang of the raw spirits that splashed out. After swallowing several times, the bear spoke again. What work are you offering? Tonight, obviously, is about the 20,000 people who are going to be giving away the one million books. This is a stupendous event. I can't believe you're all standing out there in the freezing cold. <laughs> it's cold back there, too. Penguins in flocks on the rocks do it. Even little cuckoos in their clocks do it. Let's, Let's do it. it. Let's, Let's fall, fall in, in love. love. And what an amazing night. Thank you so much for being part of this unique event. It's been so special. Um, thank you for your intention. And most importantly, thank you for resisting the predation to burn your books to stay warm. <laughs> <laughs>